Hello, today I'm going to show you how to hide everything outside the artboard. Right now all the shapes are on one layer and each shape gets its own sub-layer. For those of you who have a newer version of Illustrator, the fastest way to hide everything outside the artboard is to go to View and then select Trim View. By default there is no keyboard shortcut for this function. If you are going to use it a lot, you can always assign one. To learn how to do this, please check out my other tutorial. I've included a link to it in the description. Now you can still select any of the shapes and make changes. To exit this mode, go back to View and uncheck Trim View. Another way to hide everything outside the artboard is to create a clipping mask. Set the stroke to None and the fill to Black. First we will create a mask. A mask can have any shape you like, but in this case it will be a simple rectangle that will cover the entire artboard. Select the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle to cover the artboard. Be sure your mask sublayer is on top of everything you want to cover. Everything that the mask covers will be visible and everything else will be hidden. After you draw a mask, select everything and then either go to Object, Clipping Mask and choose Make or press the Ctrl and number 7 keys on your keyboard. If you need to make any changes to individual shapes, first open the Clip Group layer that we've just created and now select a desired shape and make changes. To see everything, turn off the visibility of the rectangle layer. If you wish to delete this clipping mask, first select everything, then go to Object, Clipping Mask and choose Release. Now move the rectangle layer to the garbage bin. Another way to hide everything outside the artboard is to create a dummy layer, which will have a shape covering everything outside the artboard. To do this, create a new layer and make sure it is on top. Now select the eyedropper tool and click outside the artboard to get a color sample of the background. Next draw one rectangle to cover the artboard, then zoom out and draw another rectangle to cover everything. Open the sublayers of layer 2 with the rectangles and make sure both of them are selected. Finally go to Pathfinder and choose Exclude. Now you can select any shape and make changes if needed. If you want to see everything, turn off the visibility of the dummy layer. Let's say we would like to save only what is within the artboard as a JPEG file. If you go to File, Export, Export as and export it to a folder of your choice, you will notice that we've got everything that is both inside and outside the artboard visible. Now we will make a JPEG file that only contains what is within the artboard. To do this, go to File, Export, Export as, but this time make sure to check the Use Artboards from the options below and click Export. Now your file contains just what was within the artboard. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.